welcome guys to class and um, yes I'll be explaining I'll be explaining this design I'll be explaining design this design right now and um, yes it's really not much but before I do that I would want to um, explain how I actually come about making artboards because I'm sure most some of you might have been wondering how do I get to duplicate these artboards and all of that artboards really help me um, duplicate my jobs and makes me makes it easier for me to you know fine tune and all of that without having to build from scratch so it's basically this artboard is basically a duplicate of this but I just changed some things here right so basically how do I do that I first come then um, new document all right so all that open this is the parameter I use 3000 by 3750 all right so it's in pixels all right and i make sure this artboard stuff here thing is checked all right make sure it's checked if it's not checked then you might not be able to run it artboard so i have this as my so i told people for print for designing for social media try as much as possible you can range from 75 resolution to um, 150 pixels per centimeter this is the calibration of pixels so anywhere around 75 to 150 is okay then rgb column rgb column mode because i am designing for screen i'm not designing for print all right i think that's the only option is giving me here i think in newer versions of in the older versions of photoshop it will give a wider variety of options where you see cmyk and all of that but now i think it's just rgb all right then eight bits then uh, my background content white all of this um, yeah make sure it's all is where shall is default in srgb most of the time all right except you decide to change it uh, but i don't know your reason will be for changing it then the the pixel aspect which is square pixels square square pixels sorry if i bite my tongue then create i'm using 3000 by 3750 because this is a ratio for instagram portraits all right when exporting all right i would have to bring this thing back to um 1080 by 1350 all right if you do a ratio of 1080 to to 3000 you would also get 1350 to 3750 all right so i'm doing this because my system can carry it all right so other people's system might not be able to carry it right if you are doing if you are doing um square it should be three thousand by three thousand that's what i'll use some can use one five by one five some can use two thousand by two thousand depending on how well your system will be able to cope designing on that kind of um, um what do you call it parameters or calibration so i come to create so no, i'm done with that so it creates up a new refresh um what do you call it artboard this thing so should in case I finish designing on this artboard, the normal way I would design, all right? The next thing I can do is, if I want to duplicate it, I can come here, click on the border of this artboard, then click or use the command, command J to automatically duplicate or control J for Windows users, control J for um, Mac users, it's command J, all right? So, or I can come to this place here where I have my layers panel. Sorry, some of your own might be on this side, but my own is on this side. Sorry, I'm weird like that. So I can come and click on this place where I have artboard one, then control J, then duplicate. So there are two methods. Alright, so that's that about how I start up. Alright, so um that's pretty much it. Then okay, I found this picture. I went online and you know I found this picture some some days back. Let me see whether I can bring it up here for you guys to see. Okay, see the picture here. Found this picture some days back. All right, and I was like, okay, 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 okay. What can I do with this? And I just kept it. All right, it's been over a week I had this picture, but I knew I was going to use it for something, so I just kept it. So, you know, yesterday I stumbled on, you know, an idea. I was like, the atmosphere in that around surrounding that picture is currently chaotic because the guy is shouting and all of that his team is not winning you know and all you get but if you look at the picture well 
the story or what what you don't get to know is that Rashad, there's always a story behind everything all right every other there there are people around this guy that that are not in chaos as this guy is so the feeling is mixed meaning you can either choose to be to feel however dependent on where exactly you want to be or how exactly you want to be all right you get so you know see this guy the guy is smiling probably amazed that somebody is just doing rubbish he's not in chaos he's just in awe all right you have this other guys looking up at him and like bro what exactly are you doing you're 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 looking so frustrated for our amusement right and all of that you get so all right okay this is actually a very very big um um contrast of of words joy in chaos that's what just came to my head all right so um i would now give the layers breakdown of how i came about all of that so i'll just turn all of this off then start afresh from the beginning all right so mm, once my artboard came on I, I added a color fill how do i add color fill i came down here once you come down here click on this new fill adjustment layer then solid color all right that's how i added this is creamy this is a very very creamy color all right so basically this is not how i started get so don't get me twisted when i'm actually doing a layers reveal it's just basically how the arrangement now fell into place after everything understand this base is not typically how i started all right get my 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 execution in on my design software can be from anywhere i can start from pictures i can start from the elements wherever it is i decide to start from provided i end up with something good all right so I don't have a rule as to where to start from start from background start from no regardless of wherever it is you want to start honestly speaking on this picture actually i started with this rectangle and the text join chaos before all of that started forming and coming all right so now uh, after that in the next thing i had was the picture all right i got in the picture then i applied um filter gallery on this how do i apply filter gallery go on once you on once you make sure you click on picture or whatever it is make sure it's converted to smart object how do you convert a smart object right click on the picture then you scroll down to convert to smart object all right you can either do that there or do that in edit you see it's convert to smart object i think somewhere here or image somewhere which is there so uh yeah that's that then i came up here to filter and then filter gallery so under my filter gallery what do i have i have um, something acting there and then um, what am i using i'm using rough rough pastels that's basically under the rough pastels is under artistic all right so this is my this might be what you have so rough pastels is what i'm using so these are my parameters Right. when you get to the psd file you definitely see the parameters so rough pastels is what i used so okay that then you know i change the blending mode all right i change the blending mode to luminosity right? it's part of the tricks biggest trick in in photoshop is this blend mode then i duplicated the the picture itself all right then you know i wanted to give this motion blur effect on the picture i did this at the uh, possibly at the end of the design all right at the end of the design, that was when i actually added this motion blur effect so let me turn it off now i'll come back to it um, before the end of the class all right so it's taking a while to render okay so that was that's the difference between these two um what do you call it these two pictures so the next thing i added um a noise effect all right so i just basically i think i duplicated this color field then i came to filter once you come to filter okay let me unlock this once you come to filter go to noise then add noise according to your preference all right so once you add that noise it would look um, something like this and you might not be able to be 
you s to see it true like see it true see it true then um i change the blending mode to lighten all right i change the blending mode to lighten okay to give me this kind of bright stuff i don't think i i i used this color fill again i don't think i used it but let's be going sharp then i applied gradient map okay yes i used the color fill sorry because that's what's giving me this color right i'm almost back so the color fill the um blending mode is lighting the opacity is 56 all right so you basically know how to manipulate this all, all these things to give you to have that sweet spot next now added the rectangle that is below and that's this with its color lemon like color so sorry the gradient map i forgot to tell you guys what's constituted the gradient map so on the gradient map what do i have i have this color all right i have this particular color mixture all right lemon on the so moving from left to right this is your background then this is your foreground so the way great um color grading works color grading works in mid-tones highlights and shadows all right I, um yes i think shadows yes let me put it that way and that's basically how color grading works so your mid-tones definitely at the middle highlights at the extreme your shadows basically at the left so from left to right you have shadows mid-tones at the center then highlights here so you know that's basically the rule of color grading all right that's basically the rule of color grading it's as simple as that so moving on um i added these two colors this is lemon and this is um sky blonde the extreme right all right then i reversed the color grading so all of these little, little minute minute things you might overlook but they have really great effect so see it's normal way it is see it's reversed right so that was where i now took the color of my rectangle from from i think the color on his face or somewhere then i duplicated that rectangle all right and i added noise on that rectangle i duplicated all right then the blend mode i made it overlay because of things i wanted to put inside so i added it a, a texture layer on this part i clipped this texture layer on this rectangle all right how do you clip mask that's like putting something in on that thing so i once you right click on anything you come down straight to you see clip masking this one is release clip masking or clipping mask because it's already clipped already all right so i did this i got this texture i told you, i gave you guys a um, assignment on texture so this is a, a texture a newspaper texture all right so i did the same thing i reapplied it right there are two different newspaper textures so once you get the files um if you're my student you'll be privy to the files but if you're not my student you might have to buy the psd files sometime later all right so the 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 blend mode is hard light it's at 100 all right so it's hard light was basically just giving me what i wanted this is what it looks like normally this is what you look like normally let me turn this off so yeah that's the second one okay remember i changed the blending mode of this rectangle that's why it's automatically taking the blending mode of this rectangle because it's maxed in it so if i release this clip masking of this particular one this is what the newspaper looks like on its own but clip maxed into all of that this is what it looks like so you know to get what we need so i have this drawing chaos so uh, this drawing chaos is a text it's basically a text so um what's the name of this font the name of the font is pin koya black that's the name of the font all right pin koya black so that's i got this joy joy the chaos i i i'm not basically doing so much in in um on the branding here so it's just the name joy j i think j in capital letters then o and y in small letters then chaos all of them um, in small letters i think all right then i found a way to cut out this box here then and i put my in there so you have joy big you have chaos big then in it's quite small but you will not really see it it's quite minute it's there for a reason then i started filling up 
the area so at this point i started filling up because i knew there were things to fill up then i started adding some texts so i thought okay this color and some i think is rubbish text then i started adding this added this so this is more like let me rasterize this type because i don't want you guys going to look for it so this is um, that is a text i just i just took this one out of a whatsapp chat i had with somebody all right then i i turned it into a text somewhat so now basically why you see all of these um slanting like they look like in italics is because i i decided to do something so now i advise you guys when you're slanting or you're skewing a particular object make sure it is uniformed if you see this now the skew of this is the same thing with the skew of this so now if i add another text for eventually i add another text for some reason i'll make sure it is also skewed at the same parameter with this so i add another text here and i say um and i call it uh, and i call it or i leave it just like this if i don't even call it anything so now if you notice if i decide to skew this thing normally now like i come to this place now okay i do ctrl t first then i right click on it then you see skew here all right so if i decide to skew this now i might i might miss the angle at which if you notice see the angle is changing i might miss the angle so how do i now do that i don't miss the angle first off when i was doing this uh, when i skewed this i checked my my if you notice let me skew this thing again now once you skew it you notice that there's a figure changing you notice that this h figure here is changing all right so once i did the first one i noticed the 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 angle to be minus 12. so that's what i now used for this other smaller one now and not the other thing i skewed i think that was the only thing those two things i skewed so now come here i'll just type minus 12. i'll make sure it's uniform i'm doing all of this so that everything is uniform if you look at this now without having to tell all right without having to tell you notice that this and this um this and this will definitely have the same skew angle if you look at it well so this same thing applies to this one now is horizontal skewing the same thing applies to vertical skewing all right where you see some from some designs will have fonts that will just line up like this now just line up like this so instead of skewing this way they now skew vertically all right same thing you see that h is for um horizontal v is for vertical all right so you make sure the figure you used is concurrent with all other figures all right so that is why i decided i decided to keep that thing because i knew it's going to be helpful so i added this particular text then the next thing i did was i started adding my shapes i got this barcode online then i started adding okay i added this um plastic um thingy you know this plastic nylon that you remove things from inside or these ones you used they used in packaging things for ironing is what it looks like so the blending mode for this one if you notice this is the blending mode for this is linear dodge linear dodge if it's in its normal this thing this is what it looks like in its normal but linear dodge so mind you everything here removes or works with um remove blacks all right everything under here that's this particular side removes white all right all these ones removes white and right. eliminate any form of white all these ones here removes blacks and all these ones work with ash right so that's just it the trick about it so if you have anything i want to remove the, a black if you have anything that is on a black background you want to remove the black background come and use any of these ones it will work perfectly all right so that's that the next one i think some other things started coming in okay this is like a group of shadows 
Okay, group of shadows. If you notice this, it's very very subtle. You might not really see it, but it's adding depth to the whole thing. It's just there. If you notice, it's just there. But it's very very subtle. All right. So not everything must be that pronounced. That's basically what design is. But let it be there. It gives a form of depth to your design. Then I started adding other things. This rectangle. Added another rectangle. This rectangle on his eyes. And this other guy's eyes. And all of that. So sometimes when you want to conceal identity you see those things they put on people's eyes so um i was adding all those rectangles on in different places then i started adding some more texts okay um this png ring okay this is um what do you call it this thing i added here is a half tone all right it's a half tone effect for those who get see i sent this is the half tone I turn this off now you don't see it again all right so now turn it back on so you see it so it's subtle very very subtle there it's giving it that very very nice effect all around there all right then this is it here i took it down but i don't think i applied this yes i think i locked it up so the next thing i now added the color look up and so what is the color look up i added i used film stock film stock and the blend mode is normal all right so i use film stock blend mode normal then i started adding all other things this is um two rectangles and a circle all right then i added the text there added the um the two rectangles and a circle stuff the same thing with this i just made it smaller then added another text then added this code all right this thing you have here just picked it up from a psd this thing file i downloaded online then you have my logo another multimedia as simple as that so that's how you have you come about this so the next ad boy okay sorry i forgot that i remembered this picture so i added emotion blur if i did add emotion blur effect come to filter all right come to blur then motion blur all right so i added that motion blur so yes is it take a while to render uh, all right so now the trick here is this i didn't want the motion blur effect all over the pic the motion blur effect was all over on the picture all right so let me invert this mask so this is what the let me disable this is what the motion blur effect gave me on the whole picture all right but i didn't want the whole picture to be blurry so i now inverted i created a mask over this picture how do i create a mask on make sure you're clicking on the thumbnail of the picture then come down here to layer marks it automatically now creates a layer marks that's what you have here all right so this layer marks automatically comes in white so i now inverted it all right so once i inverted it i now took my brush all right i took my brush then i now started painting so now i now started painting using my brush to you know drag out the blow drag out the pieces i want mind you you need to have a white foreground to work on a black background here you need to have a black foreground to work on a white background here all right so that's basically just the trick so that's how i now painted with my brush to you see on this side i painted it out painted it out painted it out painted it out yeah, so that you know i have that blow on this clothes but every other part of the drain that all the design doesn't have it all right so that's the explanation of that in a nutshell okay so um i repeated the same thing for this other art board it's just the, once i duplicate once i finish this i just duplicated it control g i've showed you guys how to duplicate then i have all of this the same thing nothing different nothing different where it got different was at the top so it got different and lonely at the top lonely 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 so i think i changed a few things at the top uh okay yes okay yeah i think i changed a few things i basically changed the color i changed the color of this um rectangle so it's no longer lemon i used um either yes i use another color yeah so you see the color i used i use this color 
one here. So it's not the same lemon here. I use another color. Then I think I change the color grading to I change the color grading. Yes, I change the color grading to neutral. So this is a neutral color grade here. Once you come here, click on neutral. This is the one I used. Alright, so when I use that, I change my blending mode to linear bond. Alright, so that's basically why all of this has this color. If you notice, this is this with this color. Alright. So I think yes, that's practically all I changed in this new design or this new other one. Then color lookup, the same film stuff. Yes, the same same film stuff. The same everything. All right, the same everything. Then yes, then at the top of my design, I always love adding vibrance. All right, so that my colors, if my colors are not popping, they pop well. So I just come on the vibrance. So this parameter is relative to anybody. You can decide whatever your parameter would be. It's not, um, um, what do you call it? your parameter is not because not, not because I use fifty one here. You know I say your, your own everything you do you use fifty one. You just you hang, all right. So that's practically it, guys. That's all I did in this design. So, um, thank you for your time and God bless you so if you have any questions please feel free to send me a dm on telegram or send me a dm on instagram and i'll be quick to respond as fast as i can so thank you guys and bye